SpaceX's Starship is a revolutionary spacecraft designed to take humans to the Moon, Mars and beyond. With its fully reusable design and powerful engines, Starship has the potential to transform space travel. But how did we get here? What were the early steps in the development of this incredible spacecraft? In this video, we will embark on a journey through time, tracing the evolution of Starship from its humble beginnings as the Starhopper to the latest prototype SN26. Let's dive straight into the video. The journey of Starship began with SpaceX's CEO and founder Elon Musk, whose vision extends far beyond Earth. Musk has a profound belief in the importance of ensuring the survival of humanity by becoming a multi-planetary civilization. He envisions a future where humans inhabit multiple planets. To realize this vision, SpaceX set out to build a rocket that would be capable of traveling not just to Mars, but well beyond Mars. The initial concept for this interstellar journey was introduced as the Mars Colonial Transporter in 2012. However, it was later rebranded as the Interplanetary Transport System ITS in 2016, reflecting its ability to explore destinations beyond Mars. SpaceX released an impressive animation showcasing its interplanetary capabilities, but this was no mere fantasy. It was a concrete plan. The ITS was designed as a gigantic two-stage rocket, with the booster returning to Earth for reuse, while the spacecraft continued its voyage to Mars. In 2017, the vision for SpaceX's spacecraft took a new turn with the introduction of the Big Falcon rocket BFR. Compared to its predecessor, the ITS, the BFR was a more refined design standing at 106 meters tall and powered by 31 Raptor engines. To enhance stability during Earth and Mars entry, fins were added in 2018. These ongoing design modifications highlighted the complexities of this ambitious project, showcasing SpaceX's commitment to innovation. One of SpaceX's most significant achievements is the partial reusability of its rockets. This groundbreaking concept dramatically lowers costs and plays a crucial role in Starship's viability. Imagine, if commercial airplanes were not reusable, the cost of a single flight would be exorbitant. Similarly, the ability to reuse rocket components significantly reduces the financial burden of space travel, making it more accessible and affordable. By 2018, SpaceX had transitioned from carbon fiber to stainless steel for its rocket design. Stainless steel proved to be a cost-effective choice at just $3 per kilogram compared to carbon fiber's $200 per kilogram. The rocket was rebranded once again, now officially as Starship with a height of 120 meters. Starship would be launched into space using the Super Heavy rocket and then travel to its destination independently. Starship, designed for crew and cargo transportation to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars and beyond, boasts an impressive 72 mega newtons of thrust at liftoff. Its capacity to carry over 100 metric tons to Earth orbit sets it apart as the most potent launch vehicle in history. Fun fact, NASA has selected Starship to transport astronauts to the lunar surface, marking a significant step forward in space exploration. Additionally, the Dear Moon project, initiated by billionaire Yasaku Meizawa, aims to send civilians on a lunar mission aboard Starship with over a million applicants vying for a spot. The Starhopper, a revolutionary creation of SpaceX, marked the initial stage in the development of the ambitious Starship program. Designed to evaluate the capabilities of the Raptor engine and the vehicle's vertical takeoff and landing VTOL technology, the Starhopper was a testament to SpaceX's commitment to innovation. Resembling a water tower standing tall on its legs, the Starhopper was a single-engine marvel. Its primary objective was to test the Raptor engine, a methane-powered rocket engine designed to propel the Starship to new heights. The Starhopper's compact structure, devoid of a nose cone or upper tanks, allowed for focused testing of the Raptor engine's performance and the vehicle's control systems. On August 27, 2019, the Starhopper soared to an altitude of 50 meters, that is 164 feet, marking a momentous occasion in the history of space exploration. The successful test flight paved the way for further trials, with the Starhopper reaching an impressive height of 150 meters, that is 492 feet, just over a month later. The Starhopper's contributions extended beyond engine and VTOL testing. Each test flight provided invaluable insights, refining the design of the Starship and propelling SpaceX closer to its goal of interplanetary travel. The Starship SN5 and SN6 were the first full-scale prototypes of the Starship. They were designed to test the vehicle's aerodynamics and the Raptor engine's performance. 
The SN5 made its first successful flight on August 4, 2020, and the SN6 followed on September 3, 2020. Both vehicles completed several test flights before being retired. December 2020 marked a significant milestone with the launch of Starship SN8. This prototype was the first to closely resemble the final Starship design. It soared to an altitude of 12.5 kilometers, executed a skydiving descent maneuver, relit its engines fueled by header tanks, and executed a precise flip maneuver. While the SN8 ultimately experienced a crash landing, it showcased the revolutionary landing maneuver that sets Starship apart, making it incredibly challenging. The Starship SN9 and SN10 were the next high-altitude prototypes of the Starship. They were designed to test the vehicle's ability to perform a high-altitude flight and a controlled landing. The SN9 made its first flight on February 2, 2021, and the SN10 followed on March 3, 2021. Both vehicles reached an altitude of 10 kilometers before performing a belly flop maneuver and controlled landing. Although the SN9 and SN10 experienced landing failures, they demonstrated the vehicle's capabilities and provided valuable data for future flights. The Starship SN11 was the next high-altitude prototype of the Starship. It was designed to test the vehicle's ability to perform a high-altitude flight and a controlled landing. The SN11 made its first flight on March 30, 2021 and reached an altitude of 10 kilometers before performing a belly flop maneuver. However, the vehicle experienced a rapid, unshielded disassembly during the landing attempt and the flight was not successful. The Starship SN15 was the first high-altitude prototype of the Starship to successfully perform a controlled landing. It made its first flight on May 5, 2021 and reached an altitude of 10 kilometers before performing a belly flop maneuver and a controlled landing. The SN15 demonstrated the vehicle's capabilities and marked a significant milestone in the Starship program. SpaceX has also conducted tests on the Super Heavy booster, achieving a successful static fire test in July 2021. The ongoing testing and iterative improvements underscore SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The Starship SN26 is the latest prototype of the Starship, and it is currently undergoing testing at the SpaceX facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The SN26 is designed to test the vehicle's ability to perform a high-altitude flight and a controlled landing. It features several improvements over previous prototypes, including a new heat shield and upgraded Raptor engines. The SN26 recently completed an engine static fire test, and it is expected to perform a high-altitude flight in the near future. The evolution of SpaceX's Starship is a story of audacity, innovation, and the pursuit of a bold vision for humanity's future. From the initial concept of the Mars Colonial Transporter to the fully realized Starship SN15, this rocket has undergone a remarkable transformation. Its development has been marked by innovation, learning from test flights, and adapting to overcome the unique challenges of interplanetary travel. Starship represents a new era in space exploration and offers the potential to make Elon Musk's vision of a multiplanetary civilization a reality. With plans to send humans to Mars in 2026, Starship is at the forefront of the next generation of space exploration, and its success could pave the way for the colonization of other planets. This rocket, with its impressive reusability and capabilities, may indeed be the Apollo for our generation and a worthy successor to the Saturn V. As we eagerly anticipate the next steps in Starship's development, including the ambitious goal of colonizing Mars, SpaceX's evolution of Starship continues to captivate the world. The future of space exploration has never looked more promising, and we can only imagine what other remarkable achievements await us on the journey to the stars. And there you have it, folks, an incredible journey of innovation and perseverance, from the humble beginnings of Starhopper to the now operational Starship SN26. SpaceX has truly pushed the boundaries of what's possible, and we can't wait to see what they achieve next. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more space exploration content. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on the evolution of Starship. Thanks for watching.